What makes relationships last? Our relationship has had its ups and downs, but what we've found is good communication holds everything together. We decided to dedicate time every week to not only strengthen our relationship, but stimulate personal growth. Strong relationships are built on strong communication. Welcome, Welcome to, to Date, Date Night, Night Conversations. Conversations. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Date Night Conversations. I'm Chantel. And I'm Greg. And guys, in this video, Greg and I are going to ask each other three random questions we have never asked each other before. Guys, I'm always looking forward to these questions. I love the way they make you think, and I love the conversations they stimulate. I love getting different perspectives on the answers to some of these questions. It just has you think yeah, differently. Absolutely. Really appreciate when you guys let us know your responses to the questions also. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Yes. All right. So you ready to get into it? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get into it. All right. So I believe I'm up first. You're up. Okay. Let's see what we got. What important truth do very few people agree with you on? What important truth do very few people agree with me on? There's a few things. There are a few things, absolutely. So now I'm trying to think of one. What important truth do very few people agree with you on? What's truth? <laughs> Guess your truth or whatever you believe. Because that's believe just it. It's right. Actual. Whatever you believe to be true. So based yeah. on the evidence which I have today, it's what I believe to be true. Um, now I'm trying to think of a topic that's that being too controversial. <laughs> okay, I gotta say that on any matter, what I believe to be true, I literally i do research on i have evidence to back it and if somebody comes with new evidence you can change my mind if your evidence is in greater support of your truth then my evidence is in support of mine i'm not closed-minded by any means i'm not just going to be like this is how it is and when someone tries to prevent ev evidence i push it away like i don't even want to hear it it's nonsense and i've seen so many situations where that's the case on very high levels where people just it's what they were taught and they refuse to accept new evidence that could sway their belief. Um, people want to hold on to beliefs hard. Right. I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm a personal trainer and a nutrition coach. It's what I do for a living. I literally transform people and we look the way we do. Our family is the way it is. Everybody's very healthy and the nutrition is a huge part of it and still people will disagree with me and they will go back to their old ways. And the people who tend to disagree, they have nothing to support their truth. I shouldn't say they have nothing. It's based on old information, like old information. And when they ask, what do you do? And I tell them like, oh, that's unhealthy. So yes, the truth is I provide the cells with the nutrients they need and that's what the nutrition is based on. And nobody ever looks at it that way. So that's, the important truth very few people agree with me on is my understanding of what a human body needs, nutrient-wise. Okay. Now, what's yours? Chantel, <laughs> what important truth do very few people agree with you on? Just, I'm going to keep it really basic, and it's just like live and let live. There's like a lot of people that want to judge and like you said, they have their own views on things and they'll combat your views, but it just comes down to the simple basis of live and let live. And that's my truth. You don't have to force your belief. Just exactly. because somebody believes something other than you do, it's not gonna hurt you negatively. And I think for some reason people, is that how they take it? I don't know. If I don't know they... how other people take it, mm -hmm. but a lot of people, for example, so I was looking at my TikTok feed mm -hmm. and there was a lot of polyamorous relationships coming up and mm -hmm. people saying, oh, I don't agree with it. Um, the fact that it's weird and I'm like, it, No, I'm saying it? weird because it's interesting that that's just coming up on your feed. No, I understand that's what you're saying, okay. but people were also saying that it was weird to them because it's just something they're not used to. And who am I to judge if you don't want to have a monogamous relationship? 
that's none of my business and that's your prerogative and it changes my life in no way how you want to live your life and I can still appreciate that people are different and they want to live differently it affects Absolutely. me in no way totally you totally. know what I mean? Just like the one you were watching with the, that story the prostitute was telling. It was just, it was really fascinating. Oh, It's not something yes. like a lifestyle I would prefer to be involved in. Yes. But it's, can totally appreciate where they're coming from Absolutely. and their perspective of it. And it was just basically, uh, I was watching a YouTube channel that tells stories of people who are into prostitution or on the streets or they just have fascinating stories but it doesn't remove who the person is yeah, and a lot of the these yeah a lot of these stories on the pimps and prostitutes I'm like you know what I could totally hang out with this guy he has such a, a great personality when he explains what he does or she explains what she does I don't care it has nothing to do with me nothing to do with me and aside from what they do they're personable people. Yeah, They'll make me people. laugh. They got, kids. they got kids. They have goals. Like it's it doesn't to, like as long as you're not hurting anybody, and you're doing what you got to do to make ends meet, then just it's the same. Do it's you. a live and let live yeah, situation. They're just taking you. care of themselves and yeah. They're and happy I learned a lot. Yeah, Things I didn't know, and before I was judging, and I'm happy that I opened up my mind to something different. It's not something that I would do for work. But I'm not judging. If you ask me, would you do that? No, it's not something that I would like to do. But would I still hang with this individual? Absolutely. I can go for tea. Like I don't. I like. I'm learning. Like you know what? There's so many different people, and if you just allow and give people a chance, these people can bring something of value to you. You learn something 100%. different. Yes. Everybody has something they can teach, share, learn yeah. from. Anyways, that's my answer to that question. That's good. I like that one. I yeah. like the direction that went important truth that very few people agree with you on. Yeah, so many people want to force their own beliefs yeah, on you somebody don't, else. You don't this is the right way. He's an idiot, go away. Is, yeah. yeah, satanic and oh my gosh. Like, you know when people judge our interracial relationship? Yeah. It's like... Or the fact that we're not married. Or we're not married. Like, who cares? It doesn't impact you in any, any way. way. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. that's that on that. <laughs> All right, guys, yeah. we're gonna throw the question back to you, but let's read it one more time. What important truth do very few people agree with you on? All right, guys. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below. All right, that was a good one. Yeah. Kind of went a little deep and sideways and left ways, but still. Yeah, I'd be curious to hear other people's perspective on that one. Yeah. I do. All right. So we're moving on to question number two. So you are up. Yeah. Question number two. Yes. Tell me about a goal or a personal dream you have that you've never shared with me. Is that possible? No, because I think you know it all. And I'm not quiet about my goals. Greg knows everything. Yeah. This is something we openly talk about regularly because we want to help each other achieve yeah, exactly. all those goals. Yeah. And together we're much more powerful, right? Yeah. Like where like we what can we do together to, to help us get to yeah. these goals? There's nothing, something that you've come up with recently? No, you know my plan A to Z. I think I'm the same. Because even with random, I'm like, hey, babe, check this out. And I'll send you something for or people, share something. And you're like, no, it's not for me. But right. yeah, like bucket list type things. And oh, I would love to do this. And you're like, no, if that's all you. <laughs> yeah, and for some people that don't know, like some of our goals are to travel, to run our successful business, to continue like living life for a living, freedom, just feeling free, doing what we want to do. The ultimate goal is to just basically run our own schedule, do what we want, when we want, mm -hmm. and not have to answer to anybody to do it. Yeah. Ultimately, yes. yeah, and just Running have fun. Your own schedule, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Stay Running young schedule, and have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Live life to the fullest. That's Look it. for fun things to do all the time. Have yeah. experiences. <laughs> We're big yeah. on experiences. Yes. So whenever a new goal comes up, we share it with each other, and yeah, we'll even put things up, like in place so we're reminding each other. Yeah, I like, think that's awesome. Yeah, a little text, so like reminder, remember this? Or yeah, just to bring it, our attention and keep our focus keep in. Focus I think it's there. awesome that yeah. we do that. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah, the communication is like, hey, we should really do this. I'm like, well, we just start giving it a go and then it builds into something. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We've shared all our goals and dreams. Yes, we have. All right, guys. We're gonna throw the question back to you, but I'll read it one more time. Tell me about a goal or personal dream 
that you have never shared. All right, guys, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below. So we got All here right. fast. We're moving okay. on to the third question. I think we did. Well, the second question was a little quicker. short. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm up with the third. You got the last question. Okay. What was the last big thing you lied about? The last big thing I lied about? Yes. Do you know what it is? No. You know, if, if there was a lie, that means I didn't want people to know about it. So I wouldn't want to just openly share that. <laughs> there was this thing I lied about. I'm really trying to think. It's okay. Do you have something? That I lied about? Yeah. The last big thing I lied about was probably a year ago when I didn't feel well enough to go to work. And it's not that I was sick by any means. I just I've had totally I done just, that. I've had enough and I'm not going in. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm like, I just do not want to do the commute today. That was like my the previous job that I worked at. <laughs> I just said, you know what? I am not feeling good today. Just call in a sick day. And it was just a really, and it, you know what? It absolutely was a necessary, you might not have been sick, but I needed exactly. that day. Exactly, exactly. I, I am not going in today. I can't feel, I cannot sit in traffic. I'm just not in a good mental space to deal with that. Yeah. And so that was the last time that I just, you're, you were so right, it was the same thing. Yeah. That was years ago. But yeah. I called a, a sick day, because yeah, I just didn't want to deal with people that day. Yeah, you needed a wellness day, a day for yourself. Personal take care wellness. of Yeah, yeah. Take I wasn't care of sick physically, I could have gone in. Yeah. I wouldn't have been in um, peak attitude. <laughs> I did it. I'm sure many others have done it. I think that's but a pretty that's, common thing. Yeah, but that's the thing when you're working for people and you have to get up at a certain time or report to a company at a certain time. And follow a set schedule. It, it's and... too much. I can't take it. It's too much. Like I need my time for myself to do what I want to do. And it's funny because we get things done on our own schedule and it, and it works. Yeah, it flows. It's got to get, and you enjoy doing it when you do it. And that's and the biggest just, part. That's yeah. the biggest part for my mental health and your mental health. The biggest part is having fun. You're doing something that you enjoy doing, and Absolutely. makes such a big difference. When you're not forced to do it, and you just oh yeah, oh I'm gonna go do this now. Oh yeah, yeah, get yeah. that done. Because you realize it's oh, not, man, it's, it's not the money workflow. doesn't cut it. <laughs> it's just the stress will just kill you. Yeah. Guys, I don't know how you do commutes. I was doing a. Oh. It was a 35 minute commute each way if there was no traffic. If there was a little bit of traffic, if there was an accident, because I'd be taking the highway, if weather conditions, like in the winter, it could take up to two hours one way. Remember when I started nursing in Lindsay? Oh my and gosh, I told yeah. you, I'm like, I don't like it as going an hour each way, one hour each way. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? This is not something that I can do. I do not like it. And that drive and is quiet. You're going through the country. Like yes. you can easily just put your Oh, so many times, so <laughs> yeah. many times. Woke up Gotta at four o'clock. Gotta have rumble strips or gravel on the shoulder. Jeez. Yeah, like I would wake up at four o'clock. I'd be on the road at quarter to five. Mm -hmm. And by like 5.15 or whatever, I'm already falling asleep. Got the heat on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not even like you halfway. You gotta put your window down and get oh, blasted. Oh, it was terrible. Oh my away. gosh, it was terrible. I remember it so clearly. It's not something that I could have sustained for a, for a long time. No way. Anyways, guys, yeah, you gotta love <laughs> what you fun. do, and you're like, that's what we talk about. Like, your car should be an experience in itself. If you're doing drives like that, you better have an amazing vehicle <laughs> that you love sitting in. Yeah. Like, oh, my hips sore, my knees ache, my back is always killing me. You don't want to do that commute. No. Get some close to home or move. This guy, <laughs> I, when we see the traffic on the highway, like, how do you guys do it? Oh my. Oh gosh, the traffic here today, what we saw. Oh my gosh. Greg, you went, you had a dentist appointment at yeah. 10. I drive over the highway, bridge over the highway at 10 o'clock this morning. We're at the end of August right now. So on the weekend, everybody's trying to get away, go to the cottages or whatever. The highway is just stopped. That traffic is not moving. And then you cross the highway. At three o'clock. And I'm like, no, the, the same traffic you saw, the same traffic These that cars is still are here. Not moving. No. <laughs> yeah. So if you're commuting and you just happen to, you got to go to work on Friday, I could see people saying, I am not going to work today. Yeah. I'm not getting stuck in that. Yeah. All right, guys, that's our answer. We'd like to hear your answer. So we're going to throw the question back to you, but let's read it one more time. What was the last big thing you lied about? Yeah, I like this one. It's kind of juicy. It could be anything. There's so many things there. Yeah, there is. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below. 
All right, so that was Date Night Conversations, episode 59. 59. I think nice. we went into some few conversations there with that one. I like that one. That yeah. was interesting. Definitely made me think a bit. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to interacting yeah, with me these too. guys. You can get some really different responses from those questions. Fascinating stories. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know some truths. Yeah, so do I. I want to know the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> All right, guys. We're looking forward to interacting with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.